Football Podcast. I'm Mimi Malibu. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> I look a little different than last time, but here I am. You guys suck at this. this so <laughs> You've do done like a thousand episodes. This. How do you not fucking know how to introduce? You are still the thing. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Turn On Podcast. <laughs> it's Mimi so Malibu. Hard. I got Ryan Hussey on the couch with Lou Cooper. They decided to sit next to each other. Don't know why, but, you know, it is what it is. Did you catch that? I tried to social distance, but he didn't Luke want. just can never seem to, you know. He, he didn't want to lay in bed with me. I don't know why. He's, I don't know. Is we're boys. We're girls? bros. You know. Did you hear it? It is what, no. <laughs> What'd you <laughs> say? Said it's the Montreal girl. He loves the Montreal girl. Oh, gosh. You got him like, he's on, he got you under a spell. I get it. <laughs> All right, so uh, this episode is going to be a little different. I'm going to be the guest. They're going to be the host. And uh, if they have any questions for me, that would be awesome because I have no questions at all. So I'm going to sit silent on today's episode. Why did it turn into this? (laughs) We're just winging it. Because five minutes before, you said we're just going (sighs) to... Then you just take all my covers. My feet were cold. (laughs) five minutes before you said we're just gonna talk shit yeah we're talking shit what i called it? her i said what's up guys it's turn on podcast i got ryan hussey and luke cooper on the couch okay so how was your night the other night <laughs> which one scarlet's it was good honestly i met a girl that looks just like you ever seen the movie girl next door no. it's like the porn star goes to prom with like kid in high school i did not see that Dang. I've never seen it either until they pulled it up. This girl looked just like that girl, and I was like yeah, fucking identical. mind blown by that. Did you smash her? No. Why? I don't know. She's white. She's what? <laughs> She's white. I like Latinas. Oh. She did tell me. She was I didn't like, know that. hell Why? yeah. We talked about this last time. What are you talking about? But she did say to me, was she was last like, time was a blur. She was like, yo, uh, we like we went and got dances, and then she was like mid dance. She's like, "I'm horny. I need to stop." And I was like, "What? Keep going then. Like if you're horny, like keep it going." She's like, "No, no, no. I gotta stop. I gotta stop." I said, "Why are you horny?" She's like, "It turns me on that you don't want me, that I'm because I'm white." And I was like, "Okay, well, keep going." <laughs> <laughs> like, why are we stopping? Were you turned on though? Uh, she knew how to dance. I'll give her that. No, yeah. but it's not even like you and don't plus, like white girls. You don't. You say you won't date. A yeah, white I, girl. I don't want to date any white girls anymore. I but you'd date. fuck a white girl. Yeah, yeah I would I'd fuck yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> would you fuck me? Would I fuck you? Oh, well. a thousand percent. Yeah. A thousand percent. Look at that yeah. smile. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been playing this. I've been playing this card of you know. I just I'm not interested, and then for some reason they keep being interested. So I just gotta. It's the worst, isn't I it? I think that's what girls. Oh. A lot of girls like that, though. They I went, like the, the chase. I the... went. I was at Dare Nightclub. It's at the Hard Rock. Went there the other day for Zed. And I kept getting compliments. And I was like, hmm, maybe my eyes are just fucking looking blue as shit because it's daytime. I don't know. And I see this one fucking stunning girl. And I walk up to her and I was like, I want nothing from you. Just want to tell you that you're beautiful. And I walked away. And I heard this from a podcast. You can't do that to a girl. Listen, She's gonna run listen, you. <laughs> listen. I, I heard it in a podcast. Like, yo, guys, you should do this. Blah, blah, blah. It works. And I said it to her. And this girl's like so fucking out of my league. Like, no fucking chance. And two hours later, she comes and finds me at the bar. And she's like, so why did you do that? And I was like, do what? She's like, you can't just walk up, say that give me a compliment and then walk away like that never even happened. And I was like, well, I don't, I don't want anything from you. I just, you're, you're hot and that's it. And she's like, well, you at least got to get my number. And I was like, that's, that's fucking sick. Okay. Is that what you do? <laughs> Is that how you pull these hot ass women? Do you like tell them you don't want anything? I don't tell them. I don't talk to women. I don't like... So just, I, I actually don't want anything. You're playing a game because you're like, let me <clears> see if this works. And then I want to fuck the shit out of the girl. Not always. I actually don't want anything. Not always. I mean, I think it's 
it's so I feel like it's so hard to give a fucking girl a compliment these days without them like ever even accepting it. You know? You tell yeah. you tell Oh it's the worst, yeah. Mimi, a hundred guys could tell you that you're fucking hot, right? Hunter guys yeah, could tell I'll you. Be like, yeah, but, mm. And then it's like all these guys are saying everything they possibly can to get in your fucking pants. And then that one guy says that one thing that you're like, fuck, that guy stood out. Well, because I think we're, we're used to guys just giving us compliments and then expecting something in return. Right. So as much as I took this dude's advice from this podcast... I really didn't want anything. Like, I just wanted to, one, see if it worked, and two, uh, give her a fucking compliment because I feel like it is so hard to give women compliments these days because they're always like, yeah, cool. Yeah, or they just don't believe it. Yeah, 100%. (laughs) But I think it's so sexy when a girl approaches a guy and is like, yo, I saw you from across the bar or, you know, can I compliment, like, hey, your eyes are pretty. Wow. Didn't expect that. Mm-hmm. So. It's definitely more refreshing than nice ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... Luke, Luke got called. He told he had a nice ass the other night at the strip club. I do have a nice ass. <laughs> I know, yeah, but it's just know. like. I never noticed. It's no? just, well, it's no, just funny. I never noticed. You're always like this. That is true. I'm always like. <laughs> I think it's kind of nice. See. Show the camera your ass. Camera's seen my ass. Show everyone. You gotta do a side angle. <laughs> very thing. nice. Look at that thing jiggle. It is very nice. <laughs> that thing jiggled. Yeah, she she was fucking... You can't say I never give you anything now. I gave you her. You gave and me that back. stripper? 100%. No, you fucking didn't. 100%. Dog. Oh, dog. my God. Hang on a second. No, back it up. You said, yo, Ryan, look at that girl. That girl looks like the girl from the movie. And I said... That's because my friends said right. that. Right. Yeah. And then I walked my ass over there. Yeah. Gave her some money. And I said, yeah. yo, you look... She's like, I know who I look like. She's like, are you sitting at the bar? I said, yeah. She comes over to the bar, chats it up with you. Chats it up with me. for, And I'm talking like... For at Hand, least an hour, two for, hours. Yeah, I couldn't get away from her. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want nothing to do with her. But she's putting her hand like right on my thigh, asking me how I got into porn. Mm-hmm. Do I have a big dick? This and that. Finally, I was just like to Janelle. I was like, Yo, let's take a fucking. But in the beginning, she was like, Yo, I don't fuck with agents. I don't like agents. Yeah. And when I heard that little mm-hmm. bit of attitude, I was like, Well, fuck you. I'm gonna <laughs> walk away. Why though? Is she? Is she ended. In the industry? She just thinks or... it's... She thinks it's... She thinks all of them are taking, no. like, money. But, she, like, she didn't know how much, like, money... She looks as an really agent as, like, a pimp. Yeah. Is how she explains right. it. She's she, like, you're, yeah. like, a legal pimp. She thought, like, they were taking, like, 50% of, like, what the girls get. Okay. But realistically, they get, like, 15%. I told her. I was like, yo, what I make on here. a... You get paid 1000 I get 15% of that. It's 150 and a booking fee, like that's it. You made still eight hundred. I made two fifty. And she's like, "Oh, my bad." <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, get, I I definitely passed her on to you. I mean, I thought I already fucking kind of had it when I told her to come. Over. I wanted to, you know, I like when my friends, you know, we all share. Sharing is caring. Exactly, sharing is caring. At a strip club. 